Let us observe this minimally edited surgery. This is a heart cataract with small people. Size of the people is about 4 millimeter. Should we do this surgery without using any people expansion device, at least iris hooks? In my opinion, when the cataract is hard, grade 4 nuclear sclerosis or grade 5 nuclear sclerosis and the people is small, we must use a people expansion device. If the cataract is in grade 3 or grade 2, we may opt not to use uh, a people expansion device, but in hard cataracts, we should do a rexis of adequate size and visibility should be good throughout the surgery. So, my plan in this case is to use a people expansion device and that is BHEX. By this time the incisions have been made and the anterior capsule has been stained with tripanopundal blue dye, visco injected and now this is BHEX invented by Dr. Suvan Bhattacharji of Kolkata, India. Here goes the BHEX. It has got flanges, alternate flanges has got three tabs. I hold the middle tab and place these alternate flanges with tabs under the iris. This is a uniplanar device. The notches stride the iris. Through the left side port, the flange which is on the right side of the main wound is placed under the iris. Visco again and now capsulorexis. The cataract is white but it is non-intumescent and we can do rexis at on go without a mini rexis in such cases. The rexis is about 5.25 millimeter. With PHEX the uh, pupil size is about 5.5 millimeter. It is enough to manage a case and BHEX uh, exert, exerts least amount of stress on the sphincter. So damage to sphincter people is least with this device. At the end of the surgery the people is round and central in most of the cases. Bimanual rotation of the nucleus has been done because bimanual rotation causes least amount of stress on the jonule. And now is the time to go into the eye with the hand piece. So this is a nick on the conjunctiva because conjunctiva is sole enough because of peribulbar injection. And now the handpiece goes, the fecondidyl goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now watch submarine chop. The handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. The tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the substance of the nucleus and as it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to make a good crack and nice separation is done. We come to the other side to sculpt and go to deeper plane, hold on heminucleus and separate the other heminucleus. 
So, we have got two heminuclei and now this heminucleus is being divided into three pieces. This is vertical chop, hold the nucleus very firmly, vary the chopper just in front of the phaco needle and get a good crack. Ultrasonic energy is set at 85 percent, flow rate is 48 ml per minute and vacuum is 480 millimeter of mercury from the very beginning. And this is the third nuclear fragment of the on heminucleus. And now we come to the other heminucleus. Rotate, ga go to the inner edge of this heminucleus. and start emulsifying. I am detaching the, I am detaching the epinuclear shell to protect the posterior capsule, keeping an eye on the posterior capsule always. There is no to and fro movement of the posterior capsule and cortical cleanup is almost done. Injecting visco, I am going to use a B cartridge. So, the main wound is being enlarged a bit. The wound which was 2.8 millimeter is now about 3 millimeter or 3.1 millimeter. And here goes the intraocular lens. The lens goes in the capsular bag. And now, let's go again. And the uh, eye hook is being used to see if there is any cortex left anywhere. And now I take the B hex forceps. No, before that, this is, you know, there is some cortex here. As I saw using oil hook, remove the cortex. This B hex can be removed under irrigation, but I prefer to remove B hex under visco. So, injecting visco, use the B hex forceps, disengage, hold on side of the B hex and remove it. And now It's the time to remove the viscoelastic substance that we have used for implantation of the intraocular lens. This visco cleaning should be good. You should spend some time for this. I am using a 23G Simco cannula cleaning the anterior chamber, anterior chamber angle very nicely and then I go behind the intraocular lens and clean the bag. I am taking a bimanual irrigation aspiration, pushing the lens, going behind the lens, irrigating the space between the you know intraocular lens and the posterior capsule. Thorough cleaning of visco is done from both anterior chamber and from the capsular bag. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. I 
and now we are going to close the case. Before that, this is a final lavage of the anterior chamber and anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence. Please learn to use BHEX if you are an Indian surgeon because this is the most economic people expansion device which does not require making 3-4 punctures. You know, you can just by on-site put and on main wound you can apply this device.